Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 80, and we just completed our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. Not once, but twice. So we finished our our playthrough of Chrono Trigger earlier in the week, and we just finished uh, one of the several options that you can get through the New Game Plus. Uh, there's 13 different achievements in the Steam version, and there are a number of other options as well. I the the Nintendo Power Players Guide implies that there's a lot more endings, but it basically comes down to one of a one of a uh, twenty twenty some odd I, I want to say somewhere along there, and and so if you enjoyed the game, I highly recommend you go out and get it. It was a fun game to play. I played it back in the NES days. I got most of the endings. Um, some of them I didn't, I didn't realize exactly where the departure points were. And now that I've had a chance to go through it again, knowing what I know about game design now, I can see where the different departure points are for different endings. And you, you get the idea that basically when you do your save game and you see the chapter name change, uh, that's usually around the point where you would end up getting a different ending because you're, you've either finished something or you're starting something else. So do do a normal playthrough the first time and just make note of all the places where uh, you could get that departure point with that inflection point. Um, or if you want to do it the easy way, go over to the strategy wiki page for Chrono Trigger and uh, and then let let the strategy wiki page show you uh, what to do for that. So so. Those are pretty much your options there. Um, this this was a very fun playthrough. I, I really enjoyed revisiting Chrono Trigger. Uh, even though I'm not going to continue it for the Games Revisited series, I'm going to... Uh, I'm probably going to go... Uh, probably going to go try to get a couple more endings again. Just, just for the fun of it, now that I get a decent new game plus to uh, to work with. So that might be something that I do in downtime. I, I may have a little bit more downtime than I care to think about in another couple of weeks. But so far for the moment, where uh, er everything is still, everything is still uh, on for work. So I do want to wrap this up here shortly. Um, if you've been following along, games revisited for for the whole the whole series of the run. You'll remember that season one, when I did Knights of the Old Republic, I basically live streamed two hours, give or take. Actually, in the beginning, it was more like three hours, but still, it, it was a big, long episode that ended up getting uploaded to YouTube. And one, and it was fun. It's a good game. Definitely watch it, especially since YouTube allows you to pause and resume, and, and the fact that uh, a lot of people have a lot more time to watch content right now with uh, with everything that's going on. Uh, makes a good binge. And uh, so that that aside, it just didn't quite work out for a lot of people's schedules because while they're more than happy to binge four 30-minute episodes or six 20-minute episodes, not too keen on looking at a big honking two-hour episode to maybe pause, resume, or just try to bull through all the way. So for season two for Chrono Trigger... What I ended up doing was I ended up um, recording on the live stream six episodes start to finish. So uh, the live stream was still two hours, two and a half hours thereabouts. Like right now I'm running a 215 for the whole session at this particular juncture. And, and, and then after the live stream was over, I would chop the live stream up into 20, 30 minute episodes, you know, wherever I ended up doing the, the break point. And that seems to work a lot better for the YouTube side of things because it's a shorter video. It's a little less commitment downright, even though people were watching uh, the full thing all the way through as it was coming out. Uh, smaller chunks seem to be a little bit easier. Now, the way I did the live stream, though, I, I did it in such a way that I recorded the intro and the outro in the middle of the stream. So all I would have to do is in post-production, uh, load it up into the video editor, cut, cut, export, cut, cut, export, and, and just 
snap them all out that way. I didn't have to worry about splicing in an intro, splicing in an outro, and then doing any kind of post-processing after that. So this is pretty much live to tape. The six episodes recorded back to back to back, and that worked out really good in terms of edit time. Uh, it allowed me to to go from the end of the stream to the next six episodes uploading in under an hour. Uh, I, I think that confused some of the live stream viewers, though, to see the start, stop, start, stop in the middle of it, because I think somebody somebody mistook uh went when at that i wasn't really finishing finishing i was just i was finishing the episode um so i don't know if i'm going to change that part or if i'm going to keep going the way this went because this really did seem to work out it also didn't help that in the middle of all this i'm switching from using restream to simulcast to mixer and twitch to just doing twitch straight uh, today is the first day for that, and, and that did seem to go a little bit smoother. It helped a little bit with the chat, but I got to figure out how to get the chat window below to do to do that better. And actually, um, I forgot that I had also, uh, where is it? Uh, was it this one? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, th this would have put the chat over there instead of underneath. Uh, not not too big a different. I, I'm going to have to come up with some better screens. These are the, these are the ones that I happen to have. I had them left over from uh, Knights of the Old Republic, and they still worked for Chrono Trigger, so they they went pretty good. I am really going to have to go back through and uh, get a little bit more professional looking one. I, I'm not sure quite what I'm going to do with that. Um, on the hopes that I could use some of the materials. I went ahead and I'm trying the Streamlabs Prime. Um, I, I, I picked it up while I had an opportunity to. And so you're hopefully going to see some redesigns with the cards and that sort of thing. And, and maybe even get some better on-stream music. Although I don't tend to do that for games revisited. Uh, and I'm probably not going to do the music on games revisited now that I actually say it out loud because I want to keep to the uh, in-game music. The whole idea is this is a nostalgia play. This, this is a chance to go back and take a look at a classic game that I either thoroughly enjoyed and want to revisit or an older game, classic game, that I never got the chance to play and to, to enjoy it firsthand. So, like, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, I didn't play that when it first came out, but it is a classic. It is referenced many times throughout the, the other Star Wars games, and there are there were a lot of advances that started with that game that grew into other things. Likewise for Chrono Trigger. I thoroughly enjoyed playing it when it came out for the Super Nintendo. I still enjoyed this playthrough. I'm kind of sad that it's over, to be honest. Uh, but this isn't going to be the chrono tr all Chrono Trigger all the time. Um, what I'm going to do is, since I'm not sure what's going to happen over the next few months with a lot of different things, I'm going to do a classic game that I know I don't have to do a lot of in-between prep work. Like with uh, Knights of the Old Republic and even Chrono Trigger, there were some... Uh, during some of the downtime between live streams, I needed to do some grinding. I needed to do some equipment loadouts and checks and that sort of thing. And so for the next go round, I'm going to go ahead and play Portal and Portal 2. And I'm going to do those back to back because I know Portal is surprisingly short. I, I could probably finish that up in about two, maybe three live streams. Um, so... That's going to be one. So we're going to play Portal and Portal 2. That's going to be part of the Season 3 of Games Revisited. Although, that's going to be the other change. Instead of calling it, I'm going to keep referring it to Games Revisited myself. But when you look at the playlists up on YouTube, it's just going to be Let's Play and the game name. Uh, because nobody cares about the season numbers. That's not helping anybody. That's not helping anybody search. That's not helping any, you know. So I'll refer to that way. It, it might be that way in the descriptions. So if anybody wants to kind of, you know, gee, why, why do the backgrounds look worse on this go around than they do here? Oh, because that was season two and this is, you know. Uh, so you get a chance to, you know, sort that stuff out if you actually care about that. 
Uh, so it's just going to be Let's Play, and matter of fact, probably this weekend or next week, depending on when I have time, I'm going to go back through and I'm going to rename the playlist for uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Let's play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I'm going to rename this playlist from Season 2 to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. And that's what I'm going to do for, for here on out. So it is still going to be Games Revisited. Um, but that's going to be more of an internal reference for, for me. It's what I'm going to talk about it as. Because that's still kind of what I think of it as. It's just not, it's, it's not helping anybody find the content. So it's just going to be Let's Play, yada, yada. And um, likewise, I'm going to redo all the titles Instead of saying Games Revisited Season 1, Episode, yada, yada, it's going to be Let's Play Chrono Trigger, Episode 3. Let's Play Chrono Trigger, Episode 4. Um, so that's that's going to be a weekend project because that's, that's a lot of renaming. Think about it. This is Episode 80 for Chrono Trigger. And there are more than a few episodes of Knights of the Old Republic that went that way too. Uh, I'm probably going to keep the goofy title just because I enjoy that. And even though I know it's not necessarily going to help, I'm going to keep that for me because I love it. And until somebody can tell me that, uh, oh, yeah, if you stop doing that, you'll get a bajillion D viewers added on to your channel. Uh, then I'm, you know, OK, th then I might do something a little different. But um, that, that's just one of the that's, that's one of those things that's going to change a little bit, too. So um, that is that is pretty much the, the end game rundown. Um, I don't have an affiliate link, so I can't, you know, say click on the link below to purchase from the store and we get a kickback. I don't get that. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, if you enjoy the content that you're getting, there is a link to my Streamlabs page where you can send a little tip. Yeah. Toss a coin to your streamer, oh, server of plenty. Um, <laughs> Sorry, we, we we will go to those games eventually too, because I've had The Witcher Three since it went on sale, and I still haven't played that. And, and I've been told that that is a phenomenal, phenomenal game. But I get the feeling that's one of those games that I'm going to have to do when I've got downtime between live streams to really dig into that. So uh, there, there that is as well. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. I'm going I'm to rework my intros and outros. I scripted it out a little bit more this time. That's why you kind of see me looking a little off off camera there <laughs> during the intro and outro read. So I am going to definitely keep that. But what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to like uh, laminate a card and stick it on the top of the monitor next to the uh, next to the camera. So that way I can look at the camera and do my intro and outro read. You know, something some of those things. So that way I'm actually looking at the camera, looking at you. Um, sorry, that, that probably didn't sound as nice as, uh, anyway, I'm tired. The coffee's kicking in, but I'm tired. Um, so there'll be a few more changes. Bottom line is, uh, next Thursday, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, Twitch, using the link below. Yeah, sorry, link below. Make sure I do that in frame on the camera. And we're going to be playing through Portal. We're going to start that back at the beginning and uh, and hopefully I'll have a little bit better arrangement on the screen because the portal is going to be the first game that we've played as a part of this series where we're actually widescreen instead of the four by three normal. Um, so I'm going to have to redo redo some of that for uh, for portal coming up and um, I'm probably going to stick to the same basic idea the same basic format where i stream two two and a half hours do the intros and the outros in the middle and, and i'll chop them up in post and then upload them so that way they roll out on youtube each episode the next day the next day the next day the next day because uh, that spacing really does seem to help things too um and then we'll go from there and we'll see how things go. So once I rename some things, tweak some things, we're making small changes and each go rounds getting a little bit better, or at least it seems to be getting a little bit better on my end. Uh, if you've got any feedback, please leave them in the YouTube comments. I do actually read those. Uh, you can leave the comments on a live chat too. They're just a little less permanent. They have a tendency to disappear after a little bit. 
Uh, so the YouTube comments makes it a little bit easier to track those down later on. So now that we're at the end of season two, the game's revisited. Now that we finished Chrono Trigger, if you've got any feedback for the season as a whole, you know, the format, the timing, uh, the way that, you know, let me know if the volumes were off too, because I know I played a lot with the game volume and it sounds good in my in-ear monitors, but uh, sometimes when I listen back to the playback, it seems like it might have been a little too quiet. Uh, but I'm not sure if that's, that's the way it came out in the recording or if that's the way it came out on Twitch or both or yeah, all sorts of, all sorts of stuff to uh, tweak as we go. So with all that, if you haven't already, follow on Twitch, follow on YouTube, and I will see you next time. Oh, <laughs> probably helps if I hit the right one. <laughs>